On behalf of our owner, Hall of Fame owner, Ralph Wilson, and the entire organization, welcome to the home of the Buffalo Bills. We collectively celebrate not only the start of the season, but also the privilege of having the governor with us here today. We obviously want to thank the governor for hosting this great tailgate party this morning and to celebrate and support New York's favorite team, the Buffalo Bills, and let me say New York's only team. Last December, we announced an agreement which secured the long-term future of the Bills right here in Western New York. I want to thank Governor Cuomo, County Executive Poland Cars, the negotiating teams of the state, the county, the Bills for their efforts in securing this historic agreement. I also want to thank our tremendous business partners, many of which whom are here today for their endless support. Simply put, without you, we are not here today. This is yet another example of Mr. Wilson's loyalty, his commitment to Western New York, and our unwavering belief that this franchise can and will succeed long term in this region. It is also another example, a shining example, of Governor Cuomo's tremendous passion and belief in our community, and we see it each and every day with the work he is doing to revitalize our region and jumpstart our local economy. <laughs> Under his tremendous leadership, the state has made an unprecedented level of investment in our city, Obviously hi highlighted by the Buffalo Billion, and Governor, we collectively thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I will turn it over to our County Executive Mark Polenkars and go Bills! Thank you, Russ. You know, I can't hear you. Where is the vaunted 12th fan? Come on. There we go. And that's exactly what the Patriots are going to hear today, screaming and yelling when Brady's at center. This is a wonderful day. This is a great day on behalf of the people of Erie County to stand before you today because today is the first game of what will be the next 10 years under the new lease that was entered into between the county, the Bills, and the state of New York. The Bills are where they belong, in Buffalo, Erie County, in Western New York, and they will be for the foreseeable future, and as long as I am here, forever. So I want to thank the Bills organization for their commitment to this community, uh, to Russ Brandon, Jeff Lippman, and especially owner Ralph Wilson. They stated they wanted to be here, and they proved it once again by putting forth this organization. They could be anywhere else, but they want to be where the best fans are in the NFL, and that's in Buffalo, New York. So thank you, Russ, and please extend thank yous to Mr. Wilson for, on behalf of the people of Erie County. And to our great governor, Andrew Cuomo who said, we are going to get this done, and he got this done exactly as he's getting everything else done in this community, from the Buffalo Billion to ensuring that the Buffalo Bills are here forever. Governor, thank you for putting forth a tremendous effort on behalf of your team to ensure that we have the Bills as long as we're here. So, Governor, thank you very much. We're standing here today because of the partnerships that we have in county government, state government, and the private sector. 
You saw it recently with the discussion about the waterfront. You saw it recently when the Lieutenant Governor and I were talking about the rebuilding and, and new jobs at the Bethlehem Steel site. That's exactly because of the commitment that Governor Cuomo and his staff are put forth to ensure that the people of Buffalo and Western New York are never forgotten again. And that's why we are growing. And that's why we are winning, just like the Bills are going to do against the Patriots today. So on behalf of everybody in Erie County, I want to thank the members of my team that are here that worked very hard to ensure that this lease agreement was done. And I look forward to being here every game to ensure that not only are we watching the Bills win, but we're willing to win, and this is the year they go to the Super Bowl. Right, folks? Is this it? Yes. And now to turn it over to somebody who knows a thing or two about Super Bowls, someone who needs no introduction, our Hall of Fame quarterback, number 12, Jim Kelly. I'd like to taste the water that he's drinking. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Just take a little, take it easy, take time. First of all, I want to welcome the governor and, of course, uh, county executive and, of course, Russ Brandon. This is something that um, I've been looking forward to for, for many, many months. I think the opening um, of this season, um, people talk about the number 13 being unlucky, but I think this is the year that we turn it around with a gentleman by name of E.J. Manuel going to be taking his first start right here like I did many, many years ago. I was a little hesitant a little bit ago when I was told that the motorhomes that uh, the Kelly family came to the game every single week during the course of the Bills season was going to be relocated. We held that spot over there where all the renovations are going since 1986. But we talk about change. This is change. Our motorhomes are now located closer to the gate. <laughs> That's a great thing. Thank you. Thanks, Russ. But the new lease we signed, I know that's probably one of the things I've been asked about more than anything, about the Buffalo Bills. Are they staying in western New York? With what the governor has done and what the county executive has done and making sure that the Buffalo Bills stay in this area for many, many years, that's what we, all of us Western New Yorkers want. That's what we want to hear. And when you see ink on paper, you know the Bills are going to be around here for a long time. So that makes me excited as a former Buffalo Bill. And as you'll hear in a moment, um, the excitement that I've been hearing the last couple weeks leading up to um, this opening game. You look at uh, the preseason. If you ever watched the Bills when I played, we weren't very pretty in the preseason either. So I think this is a good indication what you're going to see out in the football field today. But I want to thank not only the governor and, and uh, county executive, but um, our owner, Ralph Wilson. Here's a gentleman that has kept Buffalo here for many, many years and wants to continue to make sure Buffalo is here for many, many years. I thank him because he means the world to me, and not only what I did on the football field, but what I do right here in Western New York with my foundation and my charity. But more importantly, we are a family. That's why the governor is here today cheering the Buffalo Bills on. It's like Russ talked about, the Bills being here for many, many years, and of course the county executive knowing that we got to start somewhere, but it starts right here in 2013. So on behalf of uh, Thurman Thomas and our boy upstairs, Ken Hall, and the former Buffalo Bills, we're just so glad that this starts a new era. I'd like to welcome the governor of the state of New York, Governor Cuomo. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause for Jim Kelly. Let's hear a big round of applause for Russ Brandon. We thank you for all he's done. Mr. Ralph Wilson, thank you for your dedication to Buffalo. County Executive Mark Poland Cars, who has done a fantastic job and was a great, great partner in these negotiations. 
uh, County Executive uh, said from day one to me exactly what he said here today. The bills belong in Buffalo, yeah. Erie County, Western yeah. New York, yeah. and we're going to make sure they stay. Yeah. Russ's leadership was key. It was a difficult, uh, difficult agreement to finish, but Russ's leadership was key, and we want to thank him and, again, the dedication of Mr. Wilson and Jim Kelly, not just for what you've done for the Bills, what you've done for the entire city, what you do for Western New York. Jim Kelly represents the heart and soul and the best of Buffalo, what he does for the community, what he does with Kelly's kids. Let's give him another round of applause. has said the same thing up here. You can feel it on the streets. There's a new energy in Buffalo. Buffalo is coming back. Buffalo is on the move. We were talking this week about all the development that's going on and how when you look in the sky, a once endangered species is now back. There are cranes in the sky again. <laughs> Buffalo is building. There's energy, there's activity. You look at the medical corridor, you look at Canal Side, you look at Larkinville, the Buffalo Billion, a long-term reinvestment plan. We were talking about the Outer Harbor and redeveloping the Outer Harbor this week, and everything makes the same point about the Buffalo comeback, about a new Buffalo, about a new energy, and Buffalo on the move. This stadium transaction, $130 million in renovation, so there's going to be a new stadium with a new lease on life, with a 10-year commitment for the Bills to stay right here in Buffalo. How great is that? Yeah. And I'm with Jim. I think 2013 is going to be a lucky year, and we're going to end that myth about the number 13. Because with this new energy and the new Buffalo and the new stadium, we have new leadership for the Bills, and we are excited about our new head coach, Doug Marone. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. And Doug Whaley and E.J. Manuel. We're going to do it. We're going to do it this year. The Bills are back, the stadium is back, the city is back, the county is back, Western New York is back. We're going to start today. Go Bills! Go Bills! Go Bills! We have a little jersey for the governor. Without his leadership, we are not here today. Governor Cuomo, thank you for all you've done. And I can say the exact same thing about our county executive. He stayed true to his word from day one. And again, his leadership, along with the state, just great, great day for the Buffalo Bills. We appreciate everything. Go Bills. Let's get a W today. We will turn this around. I promise you we will turn this around. <laughs>